What's good GoofTubers, it's your boy D, aka Bofaga, back again with some more Dead Zone action. Welcome back guys, welcome back for some more Dead Zone Dose, I hope everybody's doing good, so let's go ahead and jump right into this video. As you guys can tell by the title, this is the part 3 of things we would like to see in Shadowgun Legends, but before that I'm gonna take a moment and talk a little bit about this gameplay, because this was one long and confusing gameplay you guys will see i'm pretty sure you guys will definitely get a chuckle out of it it got long because you know there were booster noobs in opposite team who were just you know snucking well not snucking who just boosted and you know who snuck out of uh, snuck out multiple times and you know they took our last zones multiple times so that's where it got a little long where i was you know going back and forth you know trying to take zones back and stuff like that and times multiple times in this game i got confused because because what happened was like you know once they took our last zones and i was at the situation or you know place where you can say either I could go back or I could just go ahead rush and take their zone so I got a little confused over there while making the decision what should I do first like either I should go back or should I you know just go ahead rush and take their zone so it, it got a little confusing over there but uh, pretty sure you guys will definitely get a chuckle out of it me going back and forth trying to make my mind what should I do first but uh, yeah man that's that's that about the gameplay you know um, it, got, it was a little confusing I mean this don't usually happen like I said it's just this one gameplay maybe I was just not paying attention to the gameplay but uh, still end up hitting 40 kills and uh, annihilated noobs and booster noobs so which was fun pretty sure you guys will definitely enjoy that so let's go ahead and you know start talking about the things that we would like to see in Shadowgun Legends so the first one first thing that I would like to see in Shadowgun Legends is the old new maps you following me you got an idea clue yeah no all right let me explain now there's no doubt that we are definitely going to see you know new maps in Shadowgun Legends but what I will really like to see in Shadowgun Legends is some of the not some of the I will say at least one or if MFG is feeling a little generous at least two Shadowgun Dead Zone maps in Shadowgun Legends now there are multiple reasons why I would like to see something like that and I'm gonna explain them real quick firstly to just pay like an homage to the original Shadowgun or the original Shadowgun Dead Zone you know it'll be nice to see MFG doing something like that you know them paying like a respect to the original games because that's their game so it'll be nice to see something like that and I've actually you know seen other games doing this kind of stuff as well you know them uh, you know taking some of the old maps revamping them and you know bringing the maps like that I mean MFG don't have to literally copy paste old maps you know they can take one map keep the same vibe and you know just you know do different things with it and bring that map in the game you know it'll be nice to see something like that then other reasons why I would like to see some of the old maps in the new games is because to get used to the game and the vibe. I mean, let's, you know, take a trip down memory lane and, you know, think about the time when we, when we first started playing Shadowgun Death Zone. And I'm pretty sure there is not one person on this planet who have actually, you know, played Shadowgun, uh, Shadowgun Death Zone who did good when they first started playing you know everybody sucked when they first started playing Shadowgun Death Zone including myself and same is gonna happen with Shadowgun Legends I mean not because the game is gonna be crap or anything it's because the mechanics going to be different the vibe is going to be different and, and it's gonna take some time to you know grasp the game so that's that's one of the reason I would like to see one of the old maps with the new you know you know scheme you know you know new style whatnot so that we don't actually have to worry about learning the map and learning the controls at the same time you know what I mean like we can only pay attention to getting used to the game vibe getting used to the game controls and stuff like that and don't have to worry about the maps and you know the the you know camping spots or the nade spots or the you know sneaky spots or the you know sniping spots and stuff like that so we don't have to worry about all that this way we can at least just focus on one thing get used to the games and you know basically then you know jump onto different maps and stuff like that so it'll be nice to see something like that it'll be nice to see you know them keeping it you know in the consideration and bringing at least one if they can't bring two at least one map in which players can you know basically get used to the game and don't have to worry about the maps and you know basically learning everything about the maps in general so that's the first thing that I would like to see in Shadowgun Legends them bringing like one of the old map in Shadowgun Legends it'll be nice to see them you know paying the homage and uh, then other other reasons were just to basically get used to the game wipe so we don't actually have to worry about learning the map you know grasping the map we, we can only pay attention to learning the game style game wipe and you know getting used to the game itself so yeah so let's go ahead and you know start talking about the second thing that I would like to see in Shadowgun Legends in this video 
and this is actually regarding the player stats and the guild system as we all know we are actually going to have a legitimate guild system in this game in the Shadowgun Legends um, and like I said is actually regarding the stats as well so I'm pretty sure MFG uh, is actually going to you know maintain and take care of the player stats to the T so there's no doubt about that but yeah I'm gonna actually you know add more to it see thing is that I really truly hate you know people who know me they know I don't use hate because hate is a big word but I really truly hate I hate people with passion who you know hop clans every other day you know I hate them I can't really stand them and that's actually one of the reasons that actually you know made me lose my interest in clan system in Shadowgun Dead Zone and didn't really pay a whole lot of attention or you know attention basically to the clans and stuff like that so yeah I really truly hate them because there's no way you can tell who's 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 telling you the truth or who's lying and stuff like that so um, what I'm basically you know getting at with this is that I will really like to see a system in Shadowgun Legends where you can actually see the previous clans or the clans that player have joined previously in their stats you know um, you know, like I said, there is going to be a legitimate guild system, and once they, once a player, you know, joined a clan, that should be added in their stats, and you know, should stay there forever. For example, someone joined Mo, and they left Mo, and they went ahead and you know went to join another clan, and they you know left that clan, and they, you know went ahead and joined another clan, and all those clans that person have joined should stay in their system, so that can actually help clans or the guilds to make a right decision to either allow this person to you know join their clan or not to join their clan because like i said people or basically the kids you know who play this game they will do anything to basically join a famous clan you know they will they won't mind they won't hesitate to you know tell you the lie and you know they will do whatever they can to get in a famous clan and I'm not against it I mean I don't really you know mind them getting into a famous clan I mean it's just that they want to get in a clan they can get in a clan but I what I'm against is clan hopping I don't want people to use other clans to uh, other clans as stepping stones you know to learn things get better at things then move on to the better clans I don't I don't want to see that so <clears throat> if someone is good they're good and they can you know certainly go ahead and you know join any clan but if someone is shitty, they wanted to take some, you know, practice. They use a they use a clan as a stepping stone, so, stepping stone, and they, then you know leave that clan and you know join a better clan. That's what I'm against of, and that's basically clan hopping, and I totally, totally dislike that. So I would like to see, like I said, like I would like to see a system integrated in in the game, in in which you can actually see all the previous clans that player have joined. You know, it will actually help the guilds. It will actually help the clans to make right decision right choices or basically allow them to make right judgment call to either allow the person in their clans like i said it, it, it'll be very helpful for the guilds to not to allow someone who is a clan hopper or basically joining their clan because they're famous clans and stuff like that and like i said i totally lost my interest when i actually came across some of the people who joined my clan and the reason why they joined because they just thought that we were cool you know so yeah so i will really like to see these two things you know in the in integrated in the in the in the shadowgun legends at least one of the old maps so we can get you know used to the vibe we don't have to worry about learning the map and grasping the mag map and then a legitimate you know uh stat system in which you can actually see this the guilds or clans a player have joined previously to just to help the recruiters or the you know guild to make right choices and not allow a dumb schlub or a you know clown shoe who is basically joining a clan just because they're famous or things think they are cool you know so yeah that's that in this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it you know like i said these were the two things that i actually wanted to share with you guys in this video like i said i actually have a bunch of other things uh that I actually am that i'm actually gonna bring you guys in future as well so definitely look forward to them but um, just wanted to talk about these two things and uh, see how you guys you know like my ideas agree or disagree whatnot but uh, again that's basically it in this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did definitely drop a comment subscribe share like let me know what do you think about my crazy ideas what do you think about the you know bringing you know old maps with the new vibe in the new game what do you think about a system uh, added in the stats where you can see which clan 
or clans player have joined previously and help you know making the right decisions you know for the guilds and stuff like that so let me know what you guys think about that and uh, with that being said that's basically it and i will see you guys next time peace motherfuckers yeah i hope that makes sense if not then you know go fuck yourselves <laughs>